Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the makeup roulette challenge where you randomly select the steps of your makeup as you go. So I put everything in a jar. We're just going to give it a good mixing here. And now we're going to get started. Let's see which one I pick first. <laughs> Setting powder is going to be first. This is what I normally use for under my eyes when I do my concealer and around my face. So we're going to use my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. And I'm just going to take that on one of these little triangular brushes and I'm going to put it where I normally put it. So anywhere that I would normally put concealer. This is going to be fun. I'm kind of curious as to like when face primer and things are going to come into play. So if you can't see, I am dipping it in there. And on my nose, because I usually put that on my nose. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Grab another one. Dun, dun, dun. Eyeshadow primer. Okay. We're going to use my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. Maybe some of this will actually come out looking good and I'll have to fix her a few things. Who knows? It could also come out a hot mess. I mean, I could have to put primer over my foundation. <laughs> oh, why do I do this stuff for my, to myself? For myself? To myself. Now that that's done, we're going to pick another one. Oh, crap. Let's see. Setting spray. <laughs> so I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Fix Studio Setting Spray. You know, set that powder in there. And now we're on to the next step. What could it be? Ooh, my eyeshadow. Okay. I'm going to use my Modern Renaissance my ABH Modern Renaissance palette. I just got this. I'm really late to the game. But that's what happens when you're broke. Good thing I already put my eyeshadow primer. I mean, I haven't even taken the brush out, which we're going to use today. I'm going to start with... Hmm... Bone Fresco in my crease, and then I'm just going to kind of warm it up with some of the other shades. I'm going to take a little bit of this on my fluffy brush. Just kind of work that into my crease. Ooh, these are really buttery. I'm kind of sad that I had to wait so long to get it. Oh well. At least I have it now, right? Next, I'm going to use a little bit of raw sienna. And yes, I'm going in with the same brush. Kind of build that color. Warming it up a little bit. And then I think I'm going to take burnt orange. And work that in as well. Next, I think I'm going to take Cypress Umber and I'm going to work that in from the inner part of my eye first. And then I'm going to, after I kind of fix 
probably a good thing that I did this eyeshadow first since there is quite a bit of fallout. I'm just going to kind of blend that in to my crease so that it's not as harsh right there. Kind of touch this part up a little bit. Okay. The next, I'm going to get a new brush for this one. Um, where is my little flat guy? No, not you. Haha. I'm going to take this little brush right here. And I'm going to use Realgar. Realgar. However you say this orange shade. And I'm going to put that on the outside and blend that in. And then I will be wiping off the excess powder. Just to kind of blend all these like orange and kind of work that into my crease a little bit also. Just work that in. Okay. Eyeshadow is pretty much done. Except I just want to wipe the fallout off. Now I'm going to take that orange, the this one right here, the real gar, and I am just going to run that along my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take an empty brush kind of diffuse it a little bit. Now my eyeshadow's done. I seriously wish it was fall right now because I feel like this would completely work for fall. Okay, next step. Lipstick. Hmm. I think I'm going to do NYX um, Lip Lingerie in the shade Teddy. And I'm still working on like getting used to this applicator. I don't know. It's a really different... Yep, needs to be fall. <laughs> okay. Oops, I dropped it. Oh no. Cream contour. So I think today we are going to use my Catrice Prime and Fine Contour um, Duo. Use the contour stick here. It kind of melted in the Arizona sun. I'm just going to put a little bit of this because I have no idea as I put more on um, how this is going to blend out. I mean it probably won't even show. Over. It's a really warm contour. Let's say that. So I guess this is kind of in a way also a first impression of like things I have not used. Yet. Kind of warm. Kind of blends out funny just for bare skin, but you know, gotta draw the next one. 
powder foundation. So I'm gonna use my Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, this is typically what I use all over my face, and we're gonna take this little powder puff here. I'm just gonna rub that onto my skin. Kind of form that other powder I have going on. Who knows? Maybe this will be good for my foundation. We shall see. Take it down to my neck because that's typically what I would do. Not necessarily the order I would do this in. Mm, the lipstick. It looks two different colors. Fix that later. Next step. I can't make this stuff up, people. Primer's going on. And I'm going to use my current favorite primer, which is my Amuse Face Primer um, Anti-Redness. Again, you can get this at Shop Miss A, and it's a dollar, and it, it works. Okay, so over that powder foundation now, we are going to put our primer. I do recommend trying this. This is actually hysterical and a lot of fun. And now, I mean, I went from being matte to kind of being a little um, sticky and dewy. Because this primer does have kind of a tacky feel to it. So far, so good. Let's see. Bronzer now. We're going to take my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer with my favorite little bronzing brush right here. I like it because it's angled. And again, these are Emacs Design brushes that you can find on Amazon. I mention it all the time because I'm really impressed with these guys. They actually work really well. So I'm just going to bronze up my face and bronze it, and bronze it, and bronze it. Also, if you guys are wondering what's going on with my hair, it does not know what it wants to do today. Typical of my hair. And I'm bronzed, and I'm bronzed. Bronzy, bronzy, bronze, bronzed. Now that my face is bronzed, we're gonna put on false lashes. And the ones I'm going to do, they're just um, Ardell lashes. Here, I'll show them to you. I just clean them. So now I need my lash glue and all my other fun lash stuff. Wherever that went. The fun of me in my beauty room. Oh, you know what? It's in my purse, but we'll use this little guy here because it's still wet and then I'm just going to take this and just run it across the band <sighs> eyeliner is going to be interesting to do today also let those get tacky for a second Put my little adhesive guy here. This came in one of the Ardell eyelashes. It's eyelash adhesive. Uh, I don't know. Or not the Ardell ones. A Kiss lash set that I got. And we're going to try these bad boys. They usually don't work for me. We'll see. Now I need a closer mirror. Oh man. Oh no, this train wreck moment. Train wreck moment. I'm gonna turn this slide off. I also still really need to clean this here.
Oh, and I still haven't put mascara on. I really like these lashes um, a lot. I think for someone beginner, Ardell are very good um, thin base lashes to learn how to place. I do have other lashes that aren't quite like these. As far as the thin band, I have ones with much thicker bands, which I think kind of take a learning to put on. Okay. Nope. I was gonna say my lashes are on. No, they're not. They don't want to go on. Okay, now they are on. And now we're going to draw our next step. We're gonna finally do foundation on top of powder, primer. Oh, and cover up my contour probably. So the foundation I'm going to use today, and I'm gonna use another Emacs design, this is just their flat foundation brush, is the e.l.f. Cosmetics, um, their flawless finish foundation. I'm just going to put a couple pumps of that on there, and I'm just gonna dot it around my face. So maybe I get to do concealer right? I don't know. I don't even know how this is going to work today. <laughs> My other issue is I'm probably going to end up with concealer or lipstick all over, or lipstick foundation all over my lipstick. I really need to learn how to talk because I don't know how to do that, apparently. not to mess up the under eye since I had to do that first. Foundation. Check. Powder contour. So I'm going to take, take my NYX duo um, con my NYX Cheek Contour Duo Palette, and I am just going to take that on. Where's my little angle guy? There he is. She is. It's pink. I guess it could be a boy or a girl. Or gender neutral. Doesn't really matter to me. I don't care. I just care that it's a good brush, and it is. This is also just a set that I got off of um, Amazon because I have an Amazon ordering problem. I like using angled brushes because when I go, it just, it leaves it, it puts the product where I want it and then it's it fades it out and it's subtle everywhere else. So I really like that, especially for contour. That's done. Oh gosh, if it's my eyebrows, it's gonna take like 10 minutes. Oh man, I dropped it. Mascara. So I thought I would go ahead and use the Essence Lash Princess. This is their false lash effect. So we're gonna do that and we'll put it on the top and on the bottom. Um, and my eyelash is coming off. I don't know why I make these goofy faces. Sometimes I wish I was ambidextrous and could use both hands. That would actually be amazing sometimes, because then I could just switch and have it like the same angle. That'd be amazing. I don't have any thoughts on this yet. I need to see it without my fake lashes on. These are not even even. Bad lash day. Oh well. What am I doing now? The dreaded eyebrows. So I think I'm actually gonna do 
this quick because you guys have seen me do my eyebrows on camera a million times so I'm just gonna use my Ulta Beauty brow tint I know it's kind of cheating but I need a cheating eyebrow day and right now this one needs to be plucked again and nah, I just don't want to deal with it I don't want to that and this gives me enough tint that you can see my eyebrows because if you see if you can see it you can't really see this one and do you see where you need to pluck this like right there I hate plucking my eyebrows I hate everything to do with my eyebrows but I don't like the way my makeup looks when I don't do my eyebrows because I feel like they like disappear Oh man, does that mean? I probably have to wait until to see if I get concealer. This feels really weird. Like my foundation feels weird. Maybe it's just because the way I put it on and I don't normally. I know some people put the powder under. Gosh, I can't fix these yet until I get concealer. Okay. I know some people put the um powder down first to help with oil control but I have more normal dry skin in the winter like normal now um, it's drier in the winter yeah, I can't fix that spot so we're gonna be staring at it until I get concealer shut up I didn't even there's no cheating that says concealer we're gonna try my Tarte Shape Tape I don't know how this is going to work since I can't set it, but okay. I saw YouTube videos and I just did not believe how big this wand was. I thought their camera was making it bigger. No, no, it's, it's huge. I'm just going to put a couple dots because from what everyone says, you only need a little bit. Holy cow, I have not had to dip back in. This gives me hope that this will last me a little bit. This is where I'm going to mess up my lipstick. Okay, I'm gonna take my beauty sponge. This one's actually from Emacs Designs. I like how soft it is. It's soft, it's really soft, and it's damp. Hmm. First impressions of this concealer, I kinda like it. I like that I only need a little bit, whereas if I'm going to use my Maybelline um, Concealer, this guy here. I feel like I use a lot more of this than I had to use with this, so I kind of like that. Yeah, I got to fix that spot. I don't normally use my beauty blender, but since I just, um, I usually use my fingers, but since, yeah. Okay, I kind of like that concealer. I just wish now that I could set it with some powder, but I already did that. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Next is eyeliner. I'm just going to use my um, Starlux Pro eyeliner. If you haven't seen this yet, there's a star. I love that star, it's cool. And if this runs out, I'll probably just keep that and use that end and dip it into gel liner or paint gel liner on it. Probably paint it on. Oh, this is hard. I'm not gonna do a wing because I don't even know. hard to see over my eyelashes and it's probably gonna look really funny when I take these off or it's going to be the perfect line I don't know I mean nowhere near my actual lashes okay so I just did my top my camera stopped filming for a second um, I'm now going in and I'm just going to put a little along the lower lash line. And 
there is that. Now we are going on to our next bit of fun. Blush. I'm going to use my Medusa's Makeup Blush in Georgia Peach. I really I love this blush. And look at how big that pan is. It's huge. Take my Ultimate Fluffy Brush. Through the pink, and I can't take any powder to diffuse it. So there we are. Highlight. Oh, that would have been so sad if I had to do highlight first. Oh, that would have destroyed me because then it would have just gotten covered up. We're gonna take my Medusa's makeup totally baked eyeshadow in Bitchin and use this as my all-over highlight. I'm using my little fan brush here gonna highlight this like I'm a goddess because I mean why not and there you have it this is the look with doing the makeup roulette thank you so much for watching if you guys have tried it please let me know and I'll totally go check out your video. Um, comment down below what your favorite part of this video was. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!